Hello YouTube fans, my name's Darren Griffin and today I'm showing you how to do the lightning effect in Adobe After Effects. It's very very simple to do because there's already a preset on here. So catch your video which should catch your video footage which um, should look a little bit like this. So your hands going out like that and the lightning will come out here. And you see me do it again. That come out now. It's going to come out that direction. Okay? So open up Adobe After Effects after you've done your video footage and put your video footage somewhere on your computer where you'll be able to find it easily. <coughs> Make sure it's an AV4I file or it's a Windows Media Video file or aka VMV, which is a uh, WMV, sorry. Just wait for this to load, and if you're not register it, registered it, it's registered. If it's not registered, you can always um, come back to it, and it'll be quite easy to, because it'll come up the screen. It says you have blah 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 days to go. It comes up on another screen. New composition, basic, lightning. Okay. Now click on uh, hold down control, then push the I button. <coughs> That uh, shortcut key to import a file. Now go to the file, your footage file, where you recorded your footage. Make sure your hands are uh, still when you hold it out where you want the lightning to come out. Because um, you're no good because you won't be able to move the lightning around unless someone else has figured it out how to. So wait for it to come in. Drag it on to that icon there. Okay? Now, what I want you to do, let's get rid of that rubbish. Go to the very start where you want your actual footage to start. So I want it to start there. Control shift. Now, to cut a layer in half, or cut where you really have it. So if I want to cut it there, I'll push Control Shift D. So I want to delete that because I don't, I want to ask where I want it to start where I've just cut it. Now, here's this, this is the trickiest part of the thing actually, but it's made quite easy. So you come in, or I come in. And I'm there, right? And where exact frame where you want your lightning to come out? So I want it to come out there. Now hit Control Shift D again, but don't delete that. That you need. That's the other footage. Now play it again until you want your uh, lightning to stop coming out. And then when you've when you've got place where your lightning's come stop coming out, so hit Control Shift D again. Now, click on the frame or the uh, little bit you've cut there, where you want the lightning to come in and out. Click Effect, that one, obsolete uh, lightning. Now that should be animated, which it is. Now animation presets, they ain't got none. So. If you go on that, if it works its way down, it's no good. So you want to swap ends. Oh, hang on. You want to swap these ends around. These crosshairs are determined where the where these um, lightning this lightning is going to go. Now, if you hit the back buttons, which rewinds right back to the end of the uh, start of the uh, footage, and you watch. And now you keep going on until you want your next one to come out. Now click on Effect, Obsolete, Lightning and drag it to where you want it but before you do that well say that's easy how to do it it is if you want to do it some more times it's easy just to do it over and over again 
and it's just that simple to do. Thanks for watching. Could you please subscribe and watch some of my videos? They're pretty good actually. Um, so if you want to watch them back and see what they like and rate them, uh, I'll be alright. Um, so yeah, it's just pretty simple to do. Please rate, leave comments, or you can even subscribe. Uh, you, you can watch some more videos. And thanks for watching, and goodbye. Thanks.